first experience playing football was when, actually in the fifth grade is when the first day I started, foot, the, when I started football and I was pretty nervous to be honest. I was a little skinny, scrawny kid who was nervous of getting hit and everything, so, but it was good. Freshman year I played quarterback and then my sophomore year I played safety. My junior year I played a little bit of both and then my senior year I mostly just played quarterback. And my role kind of was just kind of be, I guess, the team leader in a sense, kind of control the offense or the defense because even if at safety you're kind of the leader of the defense to kind of control it and make sure everybody knows what's going on just like you do at quarterback. My positions I played throughout high school. I started playing at freshman year at outside linebacker and my sophomore year I played a little bit I played receiver and my junior year I played receiver and safety and my roles on the team were that at safety I kind of led the defense and kind of told the secondary what to do and kind of helped everyone because that's kind of the leading spot of the defense and then at receiver I either blocked for Jordan or I caught balls from him. My most memorable high school game was definitely Baytown Lee this last year. Um, it was special because first off we shut him out and we won 48 to 0. Um, I had 15 tackles that game and as a whole our team played really good. Well, my senior year my role was quarterback and me and my coaches we fought about it because they knew I was a defensive player. Um, but I threw for over a thousand, ran for over a thousand back then that was a good and not today but back then that was a good deal. I went to the University of North Texas my junior and senior year I played outside linebacker. I did play against University of Texas in 1988 and I was player defensive player of the game. They beat us by three points in the last 32 seconds of the game and I had 15 tackles and the questionable call at the end with 32 seconds left is still to be debated. My favorite part about football is whenever you make a big play or whenever you do something really good and the, you can hear the crowd in the background just start screaming and cheering and then your friends come up and give you high fives and tell you good job. The moment is just so surreal and it's pretty cool. My most memorable high school game is when we played Galena Park and I rushed for like 400 yards or something like that and then threw for over 100 and we had like 700 yards of offense and we scored 79 points and I had eight touchdowns. Football has taught me to endure, definitely, to push through the hard times and kind of be, um, you know, when everything is going bad, to be, that's when you need to be the leader the most. And it's also taught me a lot of teamwork that, you, you know, it takes a team to win, not just one player. Through football, you form a lot of relationships, um, starting with your coaches. They become kind of like second dads to you and kind of mentor you guides you right from wrong and there's someone you can kind of talk to and then as the team goes it's kind of like a brotherhood basically you get to be with your brothers the whole time through two a days and through all the practices and you basically get to spend time with them because you bond with them and you're with them so much my favorite part about football is discipline you got to know what to do when to do it you can get away with some stuff but at certain situations you can't get away with nothing that's, that, it's just a, it's a great learning tool for kids, everyone. Football has taught me that you must fight, be tough, and take care of business. Football has taught me competition and that's what life is all about, competition.